to help you identify any of the animals you might see along the way. One other thing, just make sure you do remain seated, no standing throughout the entire safari. I don't want anybody falling and getting hurt. And we'll be checking in with a warden as we enter in right now. Now we're on the video to your face. Air Warren Warden, this is simple one. Over. Jumbo Warden, I've got a few guests with me and I'm making my way into the Aturi Forest. Over. I'm Jumbo Warden. Keep your eyes open and drive carefully. You no. should see oh, lots yeah. of animals. On the right hand side is the Okapi. The Okapi looks like it's part of the zebra family, but it's not. It's actually part of the giraffe family. They were found in 1901 in the Western Civilization. Also feeding on that bush right there, to the right, is the yellowback diker. And the yellowback diker is the largest of the diker species. Making our way around now towards the watering hole for the blind rhino. There are only 3,600 black rhinos left in all of Africa, so let's hope we're lucky enough to spot one today. There he is. The black rhino can weigh as much as 3,000 pounds and run at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Let's get up here and get a better shot for you folks. There you go. Right there. They are great animals. On the right hand side, you can see the greater kudu hiding amongst the bushes in the brush. They are the second largest antelope in Africa. And then, way up on the hill, on the right side as well, is the bongo. It's kind of hard to see. It's orange, brown, with white stripes. If you look all the way through all the shrubs, there's another one towards a little bit farther down the hill. They are also known as the ghosts of the forest because you rarely see them. If you look to the left all the way up the hill, you'll see the saddle-built stork. The saddle-built stork can stand as tall as 5 feet and has a wingspan of 8 to 9 feet. Hold on back there. There we go. We're making our way out of the Aturi Forest and towards the Sapi River. And what do we find in the Sapi River? The hippo. At birth, the hippo can weigh as much as 85 pounds, and an adult male can weigh as much as 5,000 pounds. Let's see if we can spot one. Oh, there's a couple right there. They are nocturnal vegetation eaters, eating up to 150 pounds of grass every night. And they can stay submerged under the water for anywhere between 5 and 8 minutes. If you look to the left in that nest, you'll see the white-breasted cormorant. They lack waterproofing oils in their feathers, so they'll actually spend most of their day just trying to dry off. Hanging out with them is a the pink-backed pelican. And they are very intelligent herders. They will herd a fish in the shallow ends of the water in order to feed upon them much easier. And there's some more hippo. Yeah. I'd like to see the water right there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We are now approaching the Nile crocodile. So make sure you do remain seated, no standing as we cross this bridge. The Nile crocodile is much larger and more aggressive than the American alligator. They'll sit with their mouths open in order to help regulate their body temperature by releasing the heat through their mouths. Yeah. Simba one, come in. 
Jumbo, where did this assemble one? Over. Just a few moments. It's definitely good to have your eye in the sky. We're approaching the savanna now, which has a completely different ecosystem of plants and animals, such as this baobab tree on the right. It can live for 2,000 years. It stores water in its trunk and only carries leaves three months out of the year. It also has the nickname of the upside down tree. This is my favorite view, the Serengeti grasslands. It's a super highway for millions of migrating animals each year. It's also home to some of the most famous animals, such as the lion, giraffe, and the elephant. And this is the wild Africa that we're working so hard here in Harambe to protect. Side, you'll see the Patterson eland, which is the largest antelope. The Patterson eland male can stand up to six feet tall at the shoulders and weigh as much as 2,000 pounds. And both the male and the female have those spiral horns. Also on the left hand side, See if we can see them there. They are the sable. The sable are the emblem of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. They're kind of hard to spot back there. Here are the Ancoli cattle. The Ancoli cattle's horns will grow as long as six feet and have a circumference at the base of up to 20 inches. So they'll get much larger. Going. The savanna is created by many of the animals that live here, such as the elephant, like bulldozers, will push down any small tree in order to feed on them. The giraffes, like pruning shears, will trim the undersides of the tree, allowing light to shine through. The wildebeest with the zebras will mow down the grasses, allowing new sprouts to grow. And the tommies, along with the warthogs, will trim up the edges. A complete natural system of food for all of the animals. Off from the distance on the right hand side, those large animals are the white bearded wildebeest. The white bearded wildebeest like to migrate about a million and a half at a time annually. Just up the hill from them, those smaller animals are the Tommies, or the Thompson gazelles. And they are full grown. They only weigh anywhere between 45 and 60 pounds. And they do have pretty large eyes on both sides of their head to help see any kind of predator that might be in the area. Well, let's turn on some music and relax 
little bit as we travel on our way. And if anybody knows the words, go ahead and they can sing along. Thirty. 